Right, welcome to this uh, review here. It's for the brand new Shadow Spear set that Games Workshop have produced. Uh, they very kindly sent me a set along uh, ahead of time in the post. Uh, so in this video, it's going to be an unboxing here. So I'm going to open up the contents, give you an idea of exactly what's inside. It is an exciting release, for sure. Uh, some, not some, all of them are new models uh, and incredibly looking incredibly good looking models here as well for both sides for the uh, Primaris Marines and also for the forces of chaos as well you can see inside there is also you've got the main book the Shadow Spear book then uh, separate uh, codex supplements here for Demon Kin and then for Vanguard Space Marines so I plan to uh, review those separately so if you're looking for the rules keep a look out for the separate videos for those I'll go for all of the stats just to give you the exact outline of the rules for each of these units and models uh, but this video here will just be to focus on the whole product itself um, so that's what to expect here uh, in this video this is um, Games Workshop uh, doing very well at the moment and uh, this set here uh, is I'm sure going to be very very popular. You can't go wrong with brand new primary Space Marines and then to revamp a lot of the Chaos stuff as well is going to be proved to be I, I think very popular as well. So it's a good move here from Games Workshop. Good combination for a box set. And uh, you know 8th edition going very well. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot uh, and you know all the codex is coming out. Everything seems really well organized so uh, I think 40k uh, it's in a, a good place at the moment. So uh, Games Workshop sent me a copy, usually I get my stuff from GamingFigures.com, you can check them out. They do Games Workshop at a discounted rate, along with a whole lot of other uh, gaming accessories and paints and sprays and so on, and also other uh, gaming systems as well. So, this all match, it ties in with the storyline as it moves along here. Yeah. The other great thing, I would said maybe two or three years ago, talking about uh, Chaos, maybe set in the Chaos Codex review, uh, saying how desperately Games Workshop needed to redo the miniatures, especially sort of the standard units, like the equivalent to Tactical Marines. And that's what they've done here. Squad of uh, 10. And this is, uh, I think Chaos players are going to be very, very happy about this. Uh, some fantastic looking miniatures. This is how uh, Chaos Space Range should be sculpted here. So this is a, a really good job. Um, along with other units here as well. But the great thing about this is I'm sure Games Workshop will break these down to separate boxes so Chaos players can fill their armies out. And the other thing is often you'll see this set being broken down into parts and you better get a hold of these units quite at a, a pretty good discounted rate as well. You know, in amongst friends you could uh, trade with each other. Uh, you might see them for sale on eBay and so on. But it means that you can uh, build up your army quite quickly and uh, quite cost effectively as well when sets like this come along. And then Games Workshop happy enough. They get to sell the larger sets also. So here we go. It's the usual uh, those sprues on top here. So this is your Primaris Marines. Yep. All mixed up. See this? Now this is interesting. Yeah, I'm wondering how they'll do this. Just they may be thinking of um you, you may have to get hard to break it down into separate units. They're all mixed up here. You've got sniper rifles mixed up with guys with pistols. And then the jump guys as well. It's all sort of mixed in. Maybe sort of games are actually trying to lock it down into one set. That's the HQ choice there. Big pack of all the bases. Both of the factions. This is all the chaos stuff here. Yeah, incredible sculpting. I'll zoom in in just a moment. Uh, we'll take a closer look at all the detail here on these sprues. But uh, yeah, it looks look really, really good. Another sprue here. I think this is a repeat. I think this one here. It could be. No, I think it's slightly different. Uh, obliterators. I think it's obliterators you're getting in this set. And there's that new thing, whatever it's called, we'll find out, and then two more HQs uh, here, cool, that one looks really nice, that's for the primary Marines, and then for Chaos there as well. Before we break into the next level, they separate it with this piece of, this is the usual thing, they do a bit of artwork, but it also protects, stops the sprues from rubbing against the, uh, the contents underneath. What I'll do is I'll move the box out of the way here, and we'll zoom in, take a look at some of the detail in the sculpting work here. 
So this one is the Master of Possession. The Chaos. Look at the detail here. These sort of feathers and fur and so on. Detail on the shoulders and the bones hanging down. And this detail on this sort of goat's head type thing here. Yeah, exceptionally good. Games Workshop um, have really excelled themselves here yet again. So this is the usual high standards uh, for this uh, box set here, Shadow Spear box set. So there he is. Do a smaller spruce here. So uh, this is. I'm not sure. I think this could be the lieutenant in Phobos armor. I think. Or indeed, it's the captain, it's one or the other. But uh, superb details. Yeah, that backpack looks great. With the antennas coming up, very, very cool. And there's new pattern guns. As I said, we'll check the rules out in a separate video. There he is. And there's the head. Just there with uh, a goatee beard. <laughs> Right, this one. This is your. I think this is the librarian here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so this is your librarian. Oh, nice. Really, really good. It's the sword, the force sword. Just there, and the cloaked uh, helmet here. Great. A bit of detail for the base as well. Beautiful. So then, uh, the larger sprue here. Uh, for the primary sprue A. So you've got these uh, snipers here. That's the eliminators, there's the rifle there, it's pretty big. So yeah, now it's, it's fulfilling an empty spot and that was primary snipers, so that's fulfilling that. Really, really good. And then, uh, they already had the interceptors, but now another jump unit as well, uh, the suppressors, so another option. Exciting stuff. Add, and then see the grab shoots here. The size of that gun. It's huge, it's like something to be mounted on a tank. Much, much bigger than I thought it would be. Really, really big. Because you've got like a heavy bolt to end sort of here, and you've got this huge long barrel. So very, very big. Big, big guns these guys are carrying. All the details here. I do love these uh, backpacks here. So that would be for the infiltrators. Here. Exciting stuff. James is really excited about these releases as well. Plans to paint some up for uh, his Ultramarines as soon as possible. So, nice bit of detail for the basing here as well. Chaos Space Marine head and a bit of ammunition all piled up. Nice touches. Loads of them actually. There's two more here. Some skulls and spent ammunition. Nice touch, James. That's really good. Any detail that you can just uh, cut out and add straight onto your base is a really good job. So, nice sprue that one. Then these two are the same. Yeah, two uh, sprint letter B. So sniper rifle again. See the length of it. Nice size. Really, really good. Again, there's the length of that gun you can see there. Yeah, no, really nice. Really good. Okay, that's one with a kneeling position just there. And then the same sprue repeated. Now to Chaos, really, it's two big sprues other than the character. So, uh, a Venom Crawler. There it is. Nice, yeah, spikes. So I've always had a bit of a... The spikes never look really good on Chaos, like railings from a fence, but... This is the way it should be done. So still you've got the spikes, but they're longer, more slender, more needle looking. Uh, just, just a much better effect. So uh, not saying that spikes look bad, but that when they're done properly, they look great. And that's what they've done here. Nice spiky uh, row. Just there. It looks really, really good. Look at the detail for this. Base work here. That's superb. There's a real nice touch, that. Beautiful, really, really good. So I'm just looking at the artwork here to see where that goes, but that is a, a real nice touch again. 
great work here. Details for shoulder pads as well. Then coming across, uh, the obliterators. Uh, Chaos players, again, are going to be so happy that Games Workshop have done this. They look excellent. Beautifully done. Really, really, these tentacle things here. Superb. And these obliterators, big models. So exciting times, especially if you're Black Legion player. You know, this is how they're painted up and they look excellent. But just taking around all the detail here. Yeah, even where the feet meet the base here, there's all detail built up around there as well. So that is uh, excellent work. Very well thought out kit here. Superb. Right, really good. And the last sprue. I think this is going to be your 10. Yeah, it's a mixture. It's the 10 Marines, or 10 Cow Space Marines, and in amongst them as well uh, is the two uh, Greater Possessed as well, as one with a huge, sort of almost crab claw style. It looks really good. Nice detail of the chain links coming down from the shoulder pads. Very intricate detail on the backpacks. Excellent. Very, very intricate detail. Very, very fine work. Really good. You know, touches like this. See the bolters here with chains. All nicely sculpted shoulder pads. Superb. Because yeah, the transfers they look okay, but they look a bit sort of the same. And the trim, I, that's why I really like the Thousand Suns. The trim's all sculpted on beautifully for you. You can just sort of highlight with gold and pick it out. And um, the transfers are there, but they don't. They just complement the, the excellent sculpting work. And it's going to be the same here for these Chaos Space Brains. So, uh, excellent work. And the helmets are a great job. Yeah, you can see there. Nice variety of helmets. The other great thing, I, I suppose, is you can head swap, move, move these around, just to change the poses around, at least with the heads, uh, to try and vary things a bit. But you get 10 different poses in the squad, uh, and you get a few squads to mix them around, you hardly notice. So, you know, you can do that with a... 10 man squad here where each model is different. Uh, little tricks immediately I can I reckon you could see here with the axe you could cut the the arm or just at the hand the wrist here uh, and either spin that axe around change the angle or swap it for another weapon definitely swap it around with chainsaws and so on so those are kind of options are available to try and mix things up yeah no problem at all that's an easy change to make there's multiple chainsaws here in this, uh, on this sprue, there's loads of them, so you can uh, change things around, no problem at all, just to add a bit of variety, it's easily done, I think, so, and arms that are carrying bolt pistols and so on, they can all be mixed up, and there's daggers, ones are carrying knives here as well, so yeah, definitely the potential to uh, change the poses around a fair bit, which is excellent, you do like, do want to have the sort of unique variety, yeah, no, that's excellent, I just, Chaos players are going to be, <laughs> going to be so happy to finally get decent standard Chaos Space Marines. So that's the sprues, 10 out of 10 for all of them, excellent work. Uh, so then, inside the box, uh, as I said, is your artwork. This looks like that on top. And then, like so on the back. Then there's these here, similar for the Inceptors, uh, the, um, to raise those uh, suppressors off of their base. There's uh, one just dropped there as well, you get three of them. I've done this before, yeah, it's an excerpt from a book, so uh, Black Legion appropriately in here. So you get a complimentary chapter from that. That's the big base, that'll be the Venom Crawler thing here and then imagine there should be two of these for the obliterators yeah and they give you a, a shadow spear transfer sheet so some stuff for the transfers for the ultramarines and also some here uh, in gold effect for the black legion as well marked out two for the obliterators and the rest for the squad so you don't have to stick those bright yellow sort of gaudy looking uh, chaos transfers you actually get some nice golden ones here that'll match in just nicely with the brand new models Nice, I'm glad they put something there for the Chaos Space range as well. So, it's all covered really well. So leave those in there. And then it's the uh, publications here. This is the last bit. 
Oh yes, and your painting guides as well. Very useful. So, this set here, maybe you're watching this and you, you're not yet into Warhammer 40,000, you think, well, what should I do? These sets that Games Workshop produce uh, are excellent if you're looking to get into Warhammer 40,000. Uh, ones like the Forge Bane as well, uh, was another release. Uh, it means that you can, uh, inside this box set, you'll get two sets of uh, models, one for each faction. So you've got, got like two mini armies that you can immediately use. You're in a friend, perhaps, you can. Uh, club together and you can both paint those up and you've got a small army ready to go. Uh, inside there you get your modelling guides, uh, you'll have the rules, yeah now they've done it again. So they're giving you the core rules of the game inside there as well so you can immediately start playing. They also give you all the rules for the units as well inside here so you don't need the codexes just to play the, uh, the models that are being supplied. So you, really you can just play Warhammer 40,000 just with this set and then take your time and expand out from there. So for to start off with, uh, these sets are excellent. And uh, it's not like you're getting sub-rate miniatures either. You're getting some of the best miniatures that are available as well. So these are a great way to start getting into Warhammer 40,000. So uh, core rules. And it's, it's excellent that they're in such a small format. It's a real good job. Then here, uh, your full guide, yep. So there's all the models. Wow. Really nice. Really good. So, yeah, all the details. Very methodically laid out for you here. So, if you, again, if you're new to the hobby, new to constructing models, just follow this process through. And it's all laid out for you exactly how it should be done. Some of the old, you get some of the old box sets come through. Uh, some of the old instructions were a bit vague <laughs> you have to sort of guess where things went sometimes you might have to look up on the internet uh, because there wasn't all the different angles to see where different pieces uh, go or you'd have a very fine dotted line that would guide you into something you couldn't really see where it went so but here it's it's very precise now I guess because it's 3d it's all 3d rendered which really helps yeah, superb yeah and this is useful this is giving you an idea of all the colours that you need as well and the appropriate shades and highlights as well all laid out for you. Just there. So that's that. Then we'll flick through this one. For these two, uh, check out the separate videos. So I'll cover all of the rules and the special rules and uh, so on all inside these. I'll probably do them as two separate videos so you can click on and watch whichever one you want to see. So check out those in the other video. Uh, but. Uh, for this video here, we'll take a look at the actual Shadow Spear book. No doubt there'll be some missions and so on in here. So, sort of a card backing here. It's not papers, introduction. It's going to give you the background to all the story. Superb photo photography here. Absolutely superb. Really, really good. Wow. Yeah, like the lighting and stuff they've done here. Incredible. Absolutely superb. Nice. Nice photography, that, and all the effects and so on. So, Warzone Vigilus, and Kalgar, Into the Void, The War for Nemendgast, Game Rules and Missions. So, you're actually going to play. Uh, and again, it's another good incentive for getting the box set. You can actually play through the campaign. You know, the storyline moves along, and you can play the missions as it progresses. So it's a, you can sort of learn how the story moves forwards and then enjoy the, the actual battles as well. So there's Crucible of War here behind enemy lines mission. There's some stratagems just over there. Crucible of War, target of opportunity. Just a smaller board here. And some unique stratagems for that as well. Crucible of War all round defence. So you can see the deployment map there and some stratagems. Vanguard Assault. Nice, some unique tables here. Yeah, look good fun. And then that Dark Ritual here for the next mission. And then final Crucible of War here Burn and Dispoil as well. And unique stratagems for all these missions, so nice. Again, fit, fitting in with the storyline here. And then War Without End. 
Uh, no form of war is unknown in the galaxy. Blow your final example of, open play, of an open play mission, a knife in the dark, that you can use to start waging war right away with your Shadow Spit miniatures. You'll find a few ideas below to spark your imagination for your other open play battles. Yeah, if you just want a quick game and just less restrictive, go straight into open play. You should feel free to use these hooks as the basis of your battles or simply create ones of your own. All right, and it gives you it gives you some parameters for the game, and then uh, some suggestions. Just there. So there it is. It's an unboxing video, but I sort of review the contents to so give my opinion of, of the whole uh, box set. But again, you know, not just saying it for the sake of it. It's another great set that Games Workshop have put together. So you know, exciting new miniatures. They've t chosen two popular factions, uh, primary space marines that have been needing new types of models to be added to that range because they've been lacking in certain areas and Games Workshop, they haven't covered all the bases yet there's still other things like bikers for example um, that's still required for the primary space marines if, if they do that, but they're sort of, there are areas that can still be fulfilled, but they've definitely added in some exciting new units for sure and then for Chaos Space Marines uh, some very welcome uh, sculpting work done here to uh, bring back some units, sort of standard units, but revamping them and uh, some brand new models, so very exciting stuff. Uh, if you are a primary Space Marine player, and then also if you are a fan of Chaos Space Marines. So, uh, superb set. Uh, that's the review. Leave your own comments and uh, feedback here. But one thing, one point of discussion, what else do primary Space Marines need? What are they seriously lacking? So leave that in the comments section below. I'd be interested to hear what other people uh, have to say about that, what they think Games Workshop need to introduce for the primary space range. Just to, you know, if you're running pure primaries, what battlefield roles need to be helped out a bit. And then uh, your overall impressions of the set. And it'd be great to hear from Chaos Space Marine players as well. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of happy Chaos Space Marine players. I think Games Workshop have covered a good number of units that desperately need an overhaul. So good placement there, good choice of units to revamp. For sure, they didn't have to redo a standard tactic, you know, sort of Space Marine Squad or Chaos Space Marine Squad, but they have. I think that's excellent news for sure. Um, so that's the review. Uh, check out GamingFigures.com. They do Games Workshop at a discounted rate. Uh, but thanks to Games Workshop here on this occasion for sending me a set along early and ahead of time. But that's the review. And I said, uh, check out the reviews for the rules here, for the new primary stuff, and the Demon Kin models here as well. Thanks for watching. And tune in next time.